Hi everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will be sewing Carol swimsuit. This is just my pattern uh, for the test, so in the end you will have a perfect pattern with everything written and everything and the grain line. So don't worry about my uh, pattern being like this. Uh, I'm gonna work with these two fabrics. I'm gonna start by cutting my pieces and uh, I'm gonna improvise the straps so then later on when you buy the pattern you will have them perfect to fit your swimsuit. So this is a very a very low front uh, neckline uh, and it has some interesting straps crossing in the back and I hope you like it. So I'm gonna start by cutting the fabrics uh, to show you how we can assemble the different parts. After our uh, fabrics are cut, the first thing that I do is make sure that I identify my center back seam from my uh, both fab from both my fabrics, and I pin my center back seam. So right sides facing together, and pin the center back seam of your back. And then once you have that done, uh, we can of course go to the sewing machine but we are gonna prepare also the darts so also for the lining and for the main fabric for our outer fabric choose your uh, outside uh, uh, sides and pin your darts and then we will be sewing the darts and the center back seam I always do my darts the same way. I, I go along the curve darts half a centimeter from the edge of the fabric and then when I reach the, the end of uh, near my fold I continue three or four stitches more and then instead of going back I just leave my threads and I tie two knots in the end and now I cut. I do this for the lining piece and also for the outside fabric. So now right sides facing together for the front top and we will sew the neckline area. We have many ways, many different ways to sew this swimsuit. I know many of you prefer the reversible pieces but in this case I'm going to make some parts as a reversible but then in the end it will not be a reversible because for this swimsuit I believe that we have to do some top stitches to make sure that it stays perfect once it's ready. So I'm gonna follow my intuition and I'm gonna go over some different methods and then uh, of course when you are doing this you can choose your own. So let's pin the neckline and let's sew the neckline on our overlock applying elastic. This pattern um, has some options for the back straps. Uh, today what I, I did was I cut it uh, 11 centimeters um, strap and this is how long let me see center okay 80 this is 11 by 80 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold in half and I'm gonna do a long strap and this will be uh, coming from my shoulders and to my back and then and then we will want to attach here another strap doing like this doing this like this and like this so you can you can choose to to have straps both of them larger like this one uh, with a higher uh, width uh, or you can do two straps for the bottom uh, part to connect to the bottom part as I'm doing here. I'm doing this because I want to be able to place a small ring on my bottom piece and this means I can adjust uh, my uh, swimsuit which is much better than if I sewed the straps completely to the main piece. 
So this is completely optional and you have to adjust this to your own preference. This is 80 but probably I will be uh, cutting this shorter but I will uh, let you know as we go along. So now I'm going to prepare these straps. Just um, fold in half and sew and the same for this. But I'm also going to apply the elastic as I told you on my neckline front on both sides applying the elastic with a little bit of, of tension and I'm going to do that also now. So um, I only did this uh, on the neckline and not the armhole or the side because I was intending to now fold this and reverse this to the right side and as you can see I gave some tension and uh, we could do a top stitch, a zigzag top stitch all along our neckline and this uh, means, uh, this is a V plunge neckline so uh, if we apply the top stitch this means that once this is on your body you will be sure that uh, this seam will stay exactly where you want it to be and how you want it to be and it will not uh, reveal the, the other fabric but in this case I even like uh, showing a little bit if it does happen uh, so I'm not going to do the top stitch but if you wanted to do the top stitch to, to, to make this more stable this is how you should do it so just fold uh, to the right side and do the top stitch at this point. After you have your top stitch done, if you want to do it, do the uh, armhole and the sides. That's what I'm going to do now. At this point I will also place right sides facing together of my front and back piece. I'll, I will align my sides and I will sew both sides for the outer fabric and also for our lining piece. Let's reverse our straps to the right side using the loop turner or uh, something else if you want a needle. Uh, and then we need to decide if this strap is long enough and it's okay for us and we like this size or not. Uh, to check this you have to see more or less from your shoulders to the back where uh, your strap sits on your back and you see from your front tops to your back if you think this is too low or too, too big or too small and if you want you can reduce the size. So I'm going to test that now and then I'm going to reverse this and I'm going to do a small loop with this and a ring to make sure that I don't forget to place them on my lower bottom back piece of my swimsuit. So I ended up cutting my main top strap to 68 centimeters and um, these ones I'm not going to make them any different from what they are. I'm just gonna do cut a little bit because I want like let me see in centimeters because I don't even measure this anymore. So imagine five centimeters. So measure five centimeters and cut and then we can do the loop and use this as our uh, loop for the ring back bottom as I told you before. So we now can go and get our two rings for our back. That's it, I have them here. So now we can place the ring with the seam facing inside. We can match them like this together and uh, do some stitches to secure this in place. So I even did this on my sewing machine instead of by hand because this will not be seen so it's okay. They don't need to be perfect because you will eventually cut this and you will not see it. So now uh, we must insert our 
strap inside our top front. Uh, face your seam to the side that you choose. I'm gonna face the seam um, to the to the to, to that side to the most pink side because it will be my second fabric, my lining. And I align it here. Sorry, my phone was ringing. So align your strap here and just pin in place so we are ready to sew on this side. We will then do exactly the same on our other side. So as you can see I've done a straight stitch and then I also done a zigzag stitch with a diagonal securing the thread for my overlock. This is something I always do when I connect my straps to my main piece. Bottom, swimsuit, stops. I always do this the same way. Until I find a new way, this is the way I do it. Now I'm going to trim a little bit the elastic, the sh sharp edges of the elastic. Don't forget to do the same on every sharp edges you may have. So this, um, this uh, top strap is uh, ready and secure. On the other side of my strap, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, the strap that I had, so it has 13 centimeters. I'm going to put this wider ring, I like this one. And uh, with these sides together, I'm going to align this inside, right sides facing together. I'm going to insert it here, align all the, the fabrics, pin them and sew them. You can do this smaller if you want to. I think this is going to sit exactly on my shoulder, but if, if you want it to be a little more in front, uh, you can do this uh, small strap even smaller and then it will be uh, near your main piece. So it, you decide where you want to put this. Afterwards we will just uh, do this like this and we will sew here. So we will have this is for the back, remember? Okay? But for now, no. Now let's connect our top to our bottom. So we have our bottom here with our side seams done. Right side with right side. And we will align both our pieces with like this, right sides facing together. So from the side seam, align this one with your side seam. I'm gonna put some clips and then I'm gonna pin. And align it perfect. Do not stretch, just align. this and now we do exactly the same for this side so for now we have clipped our main fabric to our two top front pieces what I'm gonna do before I insert this one is just go on my sewing machine with an elastic stitch and uh, secure all this seam to make it easier for me to then attach this to this piece, our back lining piece, a uh, bottom lining piece. So before I go to my sewing machine, I take the clips out, I remove the clips and I place some pins not stretching the fabric, just pressing against the table. I place the pins and I'll be ready to go to my straight stitch machine. So as you can see here, I've secured uh, my front top to my main low back, uh, to my main bottom piece. Oh, today I'm awful. Okay, with a zigzag stitch just near the edge just to make sure that this is in place and now we need to make sure that we will place this one um, 
or uh, according to what we want because we don't want any seams facing our body. So what we have to do, we have to imagine that this is inside here, right? With the 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 the, bot, the lower parts of our swimsuit. It's here. But we want to 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 sew this one. So we need to face this like this. So your front with your seam facing outwards align the front side with sides seams okay align the other sides we can put this inside the the top part we align the side here with a clip So you see what we are doing? Our uh, top part of the swimsuit is inside here and we are facing right sides facing together again, lining with lining and we are aligning the, all the front and then also the back. We will also do the same on the back. So this will allow us to sew all the area of the waist. So all the waist is going to be uh, sewn at this moment. We align the center back seam to make sure that it stays where we want it to be and we pin all around the waist area connecting all the pieces. All our waist is now pinned uh, but uh, we want to place these two on our back. I'm not going to place them now. I'm going to decide exactly the, the spot what I want them a little bit later. So I'm going to leave them there. And I'm going to go to my uh, overlock to do this. Uh, probably I want to apply elastic on my back. Uh, so I will apply elastic on my back but not um, on the front part. And what we are doing is on the back we are sewing over the two layers of our bottom back piece and on the front we will be sewing over the two layers of the bottom but also the top pieces that are at this moment connected already to our outer fabric. So let's go over to the sewing machine and sew all the waist area. Just to make this a little bit more complicated, joking. Uh, I'm going to turn my entire swimsuit to the other side because I want to sew my elastic on my main fabric and not on top of my lining so I reversed uh, the entire swimsuit to the other side so that I'm sure I will apply the elastic on my main fabric. So I'm going to start with my front. So we now have our front attached and our back with the elastic. Let me reverse all this to the right side and check it out. Okay, turning out great. So before I do anything else and before I forget, I want to insert these two. So once I have my swimsuit like this and with this strap doing something like this. Right? I want to have these two I don't know if I want two, if I want one. I only did that for one and I think I'm going to go for, with one. We can go with one here, like this. Or if we want, we can place two of these on each side. And we can do this with two. Or maybe we can even place two on the same ring. Let me try. Yeah, we can use the same ring. Yes, 
I'm gonna try. So we will place two straps like this and then tying here on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse, open a small hole here, insert my strap, sew and we will get this done. So I've measured one centimeter from, the, from my uh, side seam and then I open my hole. Since I don't want this to be too bulky, I'm gonna cut the elastic because I really don't want elastic in this area. Now if you think that you want your uh, ring like this, you have to insert it. You have to pull it here on this side. Align it as you prefer. This is a choice for you. And then after it's aligned and ready, you can clip, do the same on the other side and then we go over to our sewing machine and uh, with the straight stitch machine we will uh, sew these two straps in place. So I'm going to sew over the two straps and I'll be back. Okay, I sewed my straps, uh, but since I want them to be very thin, I'm going to try and trim them the most I can. Okay, and I'm going to do the same to this one. And once you have this trimmed, you can check on the other side to see if it's according to your taste. And we will have our straps rings for adjustable straps in the back ready. So let's place again all our swimsuit to the to the right side to see how it, what we have still to sew. So we have all the back, the bottom leg holes and crotch area to combine. So how are we going to do that? So if I want to sew these two together, the leg holes uh, but I, I wanted to uh, do this as a reversible. What I'm going to do is I, I have to face right sides facing together. So I need to reverse this, put everything inside with right sides facing together and align. So I'm going to start by pinning from my crotch area going up here. We could also do the, this part as an unreversible and it would probably be, I think, nicer. Maybe I'll go back. I will think. Because we will go to the sewing machine and we just need to pull all these and just pull, pull, right sides facing together and you will be going all around and your leg hole will be ready. And then just, I'm actually going to do this the other way, the non-reversible way, but I'm going to tell you if you want to do a reversible, how you should do it. So, as we have done so far, it's good. Now you pin what you can to start and you will start uh, on your sewing machine with everything tucked inside here you will start sewing all this area placing your elastic on the main fabric don't forget so I would start on this side and not that one and I would go on my sewing machine sewing all this and this and this and when I reach this point you need to slowly pull right sides facing together only the two layers and keep pulling keep pulling only the two layers that you want keep pulling and pulling and you will match the side seam and keep pulling and you would reach the other side and then you do the same for the other leg hole and you would have your um, reversible uh, leg holes Okay, I decided to do this reversible so that you can follow, but if this was a swimsuit for my own use, I would probably do the leg holes without the reversible method 
and I think I even would love the top stitch on a zigzag on the leg holes but I'm gonna do reversible so I, I pinned the leg hole until the center uh, the, uh, the, the side seam and then the rest I will pull along when I'm on the machine but it's very easy just right sides facing together and keep pulling let's sew this area So one of the leg holes is ready, now let's go over to the other leg hole. So just do exactly what we have done. I'm going to pin right sides facing together and I'm going to slowly pull the entire swimsuit through the hole while I'm sewing to continue placing right sides facing together and be able to go all around the leg hole. So I've done the leg holes. I had to go and pin and clip as I went along so I think it's better for us to pin before. I was a bit lazy, I, I, I confess. So it's better if you pin or clip the entire place that you are going to sew before you sew it. I didn't do that and so it was not that easy. Okay, but now we can pull the entire swimsuit uh, to the right side and see how our piece is. Okay, almost ready. So we need to sew the crotch area. Okay, so now we will place right sides facing together and this is not very easy but that's what we are going to do and we are going to the sewing machine and slowly pull it and uh, sew it like a ring so right sides facing together uh, I will probably do a hand stitch here to make sure that at least my main fabric is perfectly where I want it to be so connecting only two fabrics, right sides facing together on these two fabrics. I'm going to do some stitches here on the side seam where I'm going to start sewing. And then on my sewing machine I'm going to slowly roll, roll and I'm going to do the entire uh, crotch area. In the end I'm going to leave a, a place where I'm not able to, to finish. And that will be open and we will have to hand stitch in the end. So, so I showed you uh, not in fast forward how I did this part because I believe it's not easy so it's not easy for me so I wanted to share uh, how I do it and as you can see on our outer side it's good but on our inside we need to close this small hole okay and now I'm gonna uh, close it with um, my needle so I have uh, a video on how to close the bikinis using the leather stitch and I do it in detail in some of my videos. So on this video I'm not gonna uh, film it because the video is already too long. 
uh, and uh, probably since I never use this swimsuit I will never use it on this side because I don't like this color as the main fabric I will probably co close it directly on my sewing machine with a straight stitch elastic of course and we will be almost ready so I'm gonna take some pictures to see how it goes uh, but before I'm gonna let you sh uh, know how I finish these small parts of the of the um, of the strap so this uh, you can I know that many of you sell my my use my patterns to make uh, uh, swimsuits to sell so what I would do is I would actually adjust this and sew this with a straight stitch according to your clients measurements or uh, if you don't want to see the stitch here, if I have the thread with the same color, it's okay and you can almost don't see the stitches. But if you don't, like in this case, I don't have uh, a color, uh, this uh, thread with this color, uh, probably what I can do is after I decide the size of my strap, I, I do it like this and then with uh, my needle, I just sew it. Uh, hand stitch here and so you will not see it and then I just cut or you can also fold this inside if you want the perfect finish you can fold this inside like this then you fold like this okay and then you stitch with your needle you stitch all this area on these sides so you cannot see it on your main side okay that's it. Uh, for the back, I'm, I'm gonna just pin this here or clip maybe. For for these ones, I think this is quite obvious. Uh, you just need to grab your straps and also according to your customer's size, you just uh, grab the straps, you go with them through here and then either you sew them together or you tie knots that they can adjust wherever they want and usually I like to tie the knots I don't mind about the knots and uh, it's easier for me because sometimes I like them a bit tighter and sometimes I like them a little bit looser so sometimes I just give uh, knots and I leave the knots that I don't mind but if you do just fold and sew with your straight stitch machine uh, probably I would love if this swimsuit was not reversible so probably I will also try an, another way of sewing it uh, as an unreversible and if I uh, do it I will for sure uh, place the, um, the video on YouTube so that you can all see it so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed our, our video and uh, let us know your comments and give us your feedback and follow us on our channel. See you soon!